yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Brandon Michael Smith. We're hanging out today at the beautiful Venice Beach, Sony Big Air Triples. We got my man, the legend, the myth, Colton Satterfield. He's going to show us what it really takes to bust a gnarly backflip on his BMX bike. My man, Colton, what's good, baby? How doing you doing? all right, man. Chilling on the beach, riding BMX. I can't really complain. Let the cat out of the bag. Easiest trick on a BMX bike. You can do a bar spin, break your fingers, backflips are easy. You just gotta get over the fear of throwing it back. I heard Adam Taylor did a skate how-to backflip. Pro skater, learn to backflip a BMX bike. Wow. So this is something you guys actually can learn. It sounds crazy like, man, I'm, I'm not even gonna watch this how-to, how to backflip, no. <laughs> I'm going to the next one, but this is something you can do really easy. Okay, break it, to, break it down to a step-by-step. -step. First thing you do, get on your bike, feel comfortable not that crazy you know just get on there when you're coming up to the lift you want to be able to you want to be pretty comfortable with knowing how to how to pump the jump and pump up the lip and jump in the jump which which pumping you're saying is just pump your legs I mean you just down like this when you you just want to feel the lip out and you want the lip to feel comfortable and if you can jump the jump the jump's plenty comfortable for you you feel you can fly out of it comfortable enough so basically you're coming up the lip you're already comfortable jumping it this is what you want to think you want to come up the lip and think of like almost trying a manual off the lip you don't want to really yank the bars up to your chest otherwise the bars are just going to come to your chest you almost want to sit down and pull the whole bike out from under you like that like you're going to do a manual and loop out on your back but off the lip so while you're manually looping out, you also want to throw your head directly back and just keep looking for keep looking for the for the landing. And if you're coming around slow, you can tuck your body real tight into a ball. Okay. So if you flip and you're coming off slow, tuck your body super tight into a ball and it'll bring it bring it around bring it faster. That's smart. And sometimes you come off a little too fast, you gotta do the opposite. You come off like up, oh, looped out that manual a little too hard, and you gotta push it out and hopefully you don't over rotate. I would suggest on your first time, you're probably gonna to wanna to do it on something kind of smaller. So you're probably going to want to loop out of the flip as hard as you can, throw your head straight back, all your weight's coming behind the back wheel, just like you're doing a manual, over-rotating a manual, and keep that head back and pull that bike in as tight as you can. Just make a little ball on that bike. As soon as it comes around, I mean, it's almost, it's almost nature. You throw your head back, and you wouldn't even believe how fast you see the ground already. You come up the lip, you're already here, and that's before you even throw your head back. The second you throw your head back, you wait maybe a couple seconds, say hello to the sky, and then uh, and there's the ground. As soon as you see the landing, you're gonna want to open up, okay. open up your legs for the landing, uh -huh. come in, keep your, keep your knees straight, so when you come in, you can give yourself some cushion. That way, even if you're gonna land perfect, you can just set yourself up to let your knees go and pump hard for the next jump, you know? Appreciate you hanging out with us today, man. No worries. Make sure you guys go follow my man on his Twitter, Colton S-A-T-T. -T. Make sure you guys subscribe to Ed Awesomeness TV. And be sure to follow me, at Brandon Smith CEO. And thanks for hanging out with Awesomeness TV. Peace. Time to get back to Big Air, baby.